Hello and welcome back to another Shadowlands preparation video. So today we are talking about Shadowlands preparation and what you can do right now to prepare for the release of Shadowlands. This is a last minute video and will pretty much only be relevant for a day or two, but I really just want to give you guys some advice on what you can do prior to Shadowlands coming out to give yourself a smoother launch and a faster leveling experience and also make some gold while doing it. Before we get into the video though, make sure you grab Students from Zero to Gold Cap book, which is literally an ebook about making gold in World of Warcraft, written by one of the most experienced gold farmers out there. The book itself will keep getting updated through Shadowlands, and it's made to help you guys get into gold making, and how and where to farm gold. By using my code, aka Solheim, you also get 50% off the purchase, and even though it will keep getting updated, it is a one-time purchase. So you get the updates for free once you've purchased the book. By using my code you're saving yourself money and since I'm an affiliate I also get a cut from the sales, so it's a win-win. Seriously, at least go and check it out and consider buying it. The link to the book will be in the description and in a pinned comment on the video. Alright, let's just get right into it. Do some BFA quest in advance. Once Shadowlands comes out, the level cap will be increased to level 60 and BFA quests will then give you some experience towards your first level. If you complete 25 BFA quests, I would imagine you can get over halfway to level 51, only by delivering those quests the second you log in on Shadowlands release. Get yourself 10 to 15 service medals from the Honorbound or 7th Legion, depending on your faction. You can get 15 service medals by completing the quest for a normal Warfront, and then 5 of those the service medals can be traded in, for a draught of 10 lands, which is a potion that increases your experience gains by 10% for 1 hour. Getting 15 of those medals will get you 3 of those potions, which is enough for 3 hours of leveling. Technically you should only need 2, but better safe than sorry. This potion can only be used at level 50, but it lasts for 1 hour, and the effects will work past level 50, you just can't use it past level 50. This means that you'll want to pop your first potion when you start leveling, and pop another one right before you hit level 51, that way you get 1 hour with plus 10% experience, while leveling from 51 to 52 as well. Grab 10 to 20 flasks, 100 plus DPS potions, 100 plus healing potions, and a stack or two of goblin gliders. Flasks will increase your DPS while questing, healing potions will let you pull a bit more aggressively, and might also save you a death or two, and Goblin Gliders are just great for mobility in general, and can let you move across zones even faster. This is especially valuable in Bastion, as some of the quest hubs are above the ground, so instead of using the beacon teleporter down to the ground, you can just glide down, getting to where you want to go even faster. This could save you many minutes, and I wouldn't be surprised if it saves you about 5% in total time spent leveling from 50 to 60. Another thing that might help you level faster is to have war mode on. If you choose to do this, I would highly recommend you level in a group to speed through things at the beginning, and to have less chance of being killed by the enemy faction. Once you're a bit ahead of the curve, you can split up or keep leveling as a group. If war mode becomes unbearable, you can easily turn it off in any rested area. Turning it on, however, requires you to be in Stormwind or Orgrimmar, so I would recommend you start with having it on to see if you can take advantage of that bonus XP. Next up, level in a group. I guess we just talked about that in the war mode section, but even if you don't use war mode I would highly recommend you level in a group, especially in the beginning. Leveling in a group lets you complete quests faster, which will end up with you being ahead of the curve, which is really valuable, because you will have less competition from mob tags. Even being two people really speeds things up, as you will kill things twice as fast as if you're alone, so grab a friend and have some fun. Now let's talk about a couple of other things you will want to do that won't make you level faster but it will give you a much better leveling experience. First off, clean out your banks. Look through your banks and see if there's something you can delete or vendor, or if you can store things in your bank instead. Having a big bank lets you farm more things before you need to vendor or visit your bank or auction house, which is never a bad thing. I've already done this on most characters I plan to play on, and some of my characters had way too much crap from BFA, but I still wanted to keep it, so I just stored it in my bank for now. Clean out your quest log. I guess you can ignore this if you choose to do 25 BFA quests to hand in at the start of Shadowlands, but if you don't, 
Make sure you delete any old quests you know you'll never do anyway, so you have more space to pick up quests in the Shadowlands. When it comes to gold making, you can actually make a little bit of gold by people preparing for the expansion as well, and I would imagine you will see a lot of sales when it comes to flasks, DPS potions, healing potions, speed potions, and those goblin gliders on Monday, and maybe even today as well. I've already sold about 1000 goblin gliders myself, which isn't that much considering they only sell for 10 gold each, so I made like 10k, but it's still decent, and I'm playing on a medium pop server, so you could sell a lot more of them on a high pop server. As a last piece of advice on what you can do right now to prepare for Shadowlands, decide what class to main. Figure out which covenant you want to be in, check out what ability your class will get from each covenant, and start planning if you haven't already. Figure out which professions you want to go for first. I made a video on this subject a couple of days ago, so make sure you check that one out if you're interested in making gold with professions. Figure out which reputations will be relevant to your character based on what you want from the expansion. For example, some reputations offer specific crafting recipes, specific mounts, and specific toys. I will leave a link to a really in-depth spreadsheet in the description down below, where you can check out anything from the Shadowlands calendar, which then shows Mythic Plus opening, and when Castle Nathria opens, to Shadowlands Reparation, Leveling, Covenants, Renown, Soulbind, Legendaries, and a lot more. It's basically a spreadsheet for Mythic Raiders showing priorities on launch week, but it's really useful for anyone trying to min-max, even just a little bit, as it gives a lot of information as to what you can do once you hit level 60, as well as how to speed up the leveling process to level 60. Once again, make sure you check out Student's Gold Making Book as well through the link in the description. The feedback on this affiliate partnership has been really good so far, and I'm so happy you guys are enjoying this product as much as I am. I also want to say a huge thanks to all of you guys for watching my videos and being so supportive since I came back to BFA. The support has been absolutely insane. I hope I can keep providing you guys with quality gold making content in Shadowlands as well, and I hope you guys are as excited for Shadowlands as I am. I also want to dedicate a huge thank you to all of my patrons, None of this would be possible without you, so thank you so much for your support. It really means a lot to me that some of you actually dedicate your real life money to me as a content creator, and I really appreciate the financial support. I am still updating my gold making guide that is available to patrons, and it's now over 20 pages long, including some Shadowland specific gold making advice as well, so if any of you watching this video want access to that guide, make sure you check out my Patreon in the description down below to get access to it. And that's it for the video guys, thank you for watching and I'll see you again very soon.